Okay guys, welcome back to this video. Welcome back to the channel. This is Alvin JPEG here from Alvin JPEG MA2. Today we're going to be learning how to link MA3D to a session on MA2 regardless of the console. So it can be it can be on PC, it can be to it can be to the actual MA2 console full side, it doesn't matter. So first off, you want to boot up your console or start up your computer and open on PC run MA2. So you want to uh, make sure both softwares are running on the same and latest version. So to check if your MA3D is on the latest version, you're going to open it. Then after you go to help on the top up here, help. Then you go to info. Then in info to show you here, MA3D, MA like if you're sure that your uh, if you're sure that your version is outdated, you want to go to the link in the description, the first link in the description to take you straight to MA Lighting uh, downloads. And here you'll find the MA softwares. So download all you need, install it, and move on. So when you're done installing uh, both setups, both softwares, new or latest version, so you want to open the MA2 software. Or boot up your console if you're using a console then after you want to click on setup right here then you go to mnet MA network control and after you want to make sure you change this to so if you're using ethernet cable you want to use this faster uh, you want to use this kind of uh, ip address if you're using if you're using the same computer ma3 on the same computer i want to use the same computer for for uh showing the ma3d thing you want to use uh, the you want to click on the this this one down here 7.0.0.1 that's the one for loop back then after yeah if you want to use a, a wi-fi you want to use this 192.168 yeah so now uh after choosing what you want to do so if i choose this you want to restart your you want to restart your you want to restart your own pc so you're going to close it and then restart it save. so yeah when you close it to ask it to save so you click save then you start now come to setup once again then after you're going to come and create a session. So that's when you have done this. You have started your own PC and all that. So you want to come create a session. So it will simply create for your session with that IP address that you used. So it's right here. So now next what you want to do is go to your MA3D. And in MA3D you want to also put in the same IP address. So you're going to go to file. Sorry. File. Settings. Then you're going to go to network then you're going to come here and then put in the one that you chose on your ma on your ma uh, on your ma2 on pc so you're going to come so i use i'm using look back just for the for, just for the purpose of this video so you're gonna click it down so you also, you also have to restart this so you're gonna come hit yes save then after you're going to restart so you okay so when you so when you open your ma3d you want to uh, then come uh, come come here to check if the if there's a if the console is now like sending out information so you're going to come click our connection set standalone and then you're gonna check if, if the session is available so when you sit here you will now know that that session is available now to actually join it so if there's no join join button here it used to be there in previous versions but it was removed so there's no join button in ma3d you cannot join a session from ma3d it's a console that allows the ma3d to uh join the session so what you want to do is go back to your is open eyes uh, go back to your own pc or gram or gram ma2 console then after you're going to come to MA network config, uh, configuration sorry here to MA network configuration and after going to come to 3D so there's all these all, all these are the things you can add to your own PC to your software so you're going to come to 3D then you're going to come to add so if you have correctly done what I've told you properly you're going to find a session you're going to find a a um, visualizer here whatever so it can be captured it can be a any visualizer so you're going to find the one that you have inserted in the correct IP address and all that here already so you're going to come just click it it's gonna uh, pop up here then after you're going to come here and uh, right click so you right click here on social member it's going to turn into yes so now currently i've allowed granny so it's going to take some time to actually send the information there just like some few seconds as you can see it's now sending objects there so now when it's done when it's green like that you know it's connected uh very well successfully and now if i to, if i'm to go to my ma uh, 3d so right here so we have information right here just that uh, i've uh, reduced the, the rendering here so i'm going to increase this just a bit so you can see right there those are my lights so everything is set so if i so now so uh, that's that's how you do it surely i know this video has helped you 100 percent so you want to click right here to subscribe to this channel and then like this video so that i can make more content like this so with that said happy programming peace out